Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Project Warlock 2 Early Access here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me your host Max On this one we're gonna be going into the E1M4 the underground complex and well it's gonna be certainly interesting so let's jump into it and see if we can have some fun uh, okay so immediately we start off by having shitty health literally zero armor and uh i'm not even sure how is that possible how am i gonna survive this then can i like touch this weird purplish goo why is my armor and health non-existent god damn it Okay, that worked out quite well. Thank God I learned how to use the spell. Because I think I did. Okay, so we're gonna at least be able to recover the armor. Careful. Careful. Easy does it. There we get a sword. I'm not really sure why am I getting a second claymore though. I'm gonna hate this. Uh Okay. I was anticipating something a little closer to me to spawn in, but I'll take it. No stress, no stress. So far, no stress. I'm not sure what the hell would happen if I would follow this. Okay, so that's giving me... It's like this map is literally set up to give you... I, I don't know. Can I? It's not hurting me. Nothing happens if we shoot these small rocks. Is there a secret? I have to be careful due to the fact that on the last mission, I kind of came across a lot of bugs with the collisions on the map. So it kind of caused you to run into stuff which was set up for like later stage of the map. Like let's say a floor above would collapse and it was already picking up the debris as if it was there. So that can get you stuck in a place and that can totally screw you up. Because if you are not moving around in this game, uh, yeah, you're not gonna have a good time. Seriously. I don't know what the hell to expect. What the hell was that? Besides the fact that there's an upgrade station, which I do need to pick up, I do want to grab this armor, we do need that red key, so let's do this, let's save up, because I don't know all shots, that's possibility, to fire all the barrels at the same time, I thought we already do possess that, okay, so no, we already do have that. Okay, cannon, a multi-shot, a rifle, we do have the rail gun, titanium core or magic blade. The claymore's uh, core gets upgraded to very light titanium core. It allows the user to slash at higher speeds while weight less, therefore damage is increased and stamina usage is reduced. I don't really know what the hell would I use the magic stuff for. I think I'm gonna go as possibility to fire a quick burst of projectiles to current weapon. Uh, let's go with the titanium core, I guess. We're, we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that. Quite sure I'm gonna have to freaking... Okay, nice. Okay, because he has that shield, a little bit trickier to execute but if you manage to land the headshot you're still gonna be able to deal a crap ton of damage probably not the best idea to be exchanging like sword slashes with these guys I still think these bastards are gonna come to life Nice headshots. Fortunately, they made it much more different from the previous game where it was easier to spot the potential secrets on the wall. Like, hell, on the last mission, I came across one secret out of 
nine? That's not funny. Like, I want to find these goddamn secrets. And why is this map literally set up to give me access to all the weapons which I have already acquired? Okay, so the two shots were able to kill this big goofball. I think we're gonna have to go like this and I'm gonna have to use the dual wielding thingy. I have no idea what these deadly ninjas are, but they certainly do form a lovely fountain of goo when they are dead. Okay, so here is the red door. And here is where we find our happiness. Or whatever. Not really sure if that guy would be even able to literally get through that door. Like, he just literally stuffed his junk in it and he was expecting I don't know what. That's not a secret? Seriously? Yeah, I was expecting some miracle out of this. Not sure why I'm using the ranged variant of this weapon since it burns through so much freaking ammo. So we have picked up this one. Where the hell did you come from? Then no idea. No idea what so freaking ever. This is where we arrived from. We cannot get up to that thing, or at least I have not discovered the way to hold on. I think I might have discovered something. Okay. Orc Mommy. I think I might know what this is a reference to as a game. I don't think I will be ever able to feature that game, however, on the channel, because if I understand the concept correctly, it has some sort of adult aspect connected to it. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So there's a secret. I was able to find it. You just have to think a little differently. Where the hell did you guys come from? And what happens if we touch this goo? Secret has been found. I'm trying to shoot this different terrain because this is literally telling me, hey dummy, there's something behind these doors, but apparently there's nothing. So it was just enough for me to get here. Let's go with the shotgun. We're gonna have to find some sort of alternative way to get to the next stage, I guess. But this game feels super smooth, super fast, which can work for and against you at the same time, so you have to be careful. I kind of feel like once we descend down here, all those secrets which were potentially hiding here, you cannot get back to them. So if you miss out on those, you're kind of screwed, but that was also a uh, system implemented in the previous game, so not, nothing really new here. I feel like we're gonna have to get rid of that goo in order to be able to go through here or something. Yeah, because right now this is just not letting me pass through. It looks like the enemies are theoretically popping out of there. Let's get rid of you. We're able to see this spot. I can't really do anything over here. Looking for just about anything. But so far, the weirdest thing is that the secrets, I literally had to shoot my way through them and not do anything else. Okay. These sorts of stealthy dudes can be dangerous because if a lot of them jump you, holy shit, they decided to give you the mana staff or the magical staff this late in the game? Wow, okay, well, here's the thing. Now, literally, the previous game, the mana staff is the first weapon ever that you pick up. So for them to actually make this much deal out of it, it's telling me that something has to be seriously <laughs> going on here. Okay, let's save up. I 
don't know how much mana do I- Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, there was just way too much stuff going on. Definitely good use of the... Uh, freezer potion. But after that, it all went to shit. Fucking hell. Okay, challenge. I like it. I'm gonna probably have to go... A little different here. Maybe being cooked up down here is gonna be the game changer. If you hold on, I need to be careful on how I do this. Don't know if I have access to like an alternative fire. Definitely did burn through a lot of this stuff though. What the hell are you doing, man? So, okay, challenge accepted. And my health is almost non-existent, which is awesome. I do love me a challenging game. Uh, but I kind of have to be a little bit careful on how I do things here. So we did trigger some secret, but what the hell did it manage to do? I got zero freaking idea. Besides spawning in these move balls. That succubus is gone. There's a med kit. Seriously, that's not a secret? Does it have to be red in order for it to be a secret? Probably, yeah. Okay, so we have uh, removed that goo, which was falling down through there. Awesome. Apparently, you won't be able to do, can you run through a whole... Uh, Project Warlock 2 with only using mana because you get the mana staff so late in the game i mean we already picked up like four weapons ahead of this so definitely not a possibility but in the previous title still a potential thing that can be done so i'm not sure if i'm like shooting these sort of it literally looks like bubble beam from squirtle I'm not sure if it's just me. Oh, you are annoying, man. Hell of an annoying dude. Just gonna snipe these guys from a distance. That's one headshot, that's second headshot. It's so easy if you can just eliminate them like this from a distance. Man, I love the real gun. Have I told you about Railgun? Look at this. It's just doing its goddamn job. Loving it. Hold on, but I do want to check out what's happening over here. I did not miss out on anything. Because it's nice that they give you all these goddamn mushrooms and all the other nonsense, but... I, I don't see anything. Rain mushrooms? Well, it's... Yeah, green mushrooms are pretty damn common. And not just in here. Hell, even in my time at Sandrock, they have implemented them. I just like to see some sort of color, since this is a video game, I guess. But probably all the color you get in this game is from all the bits and pieces you get from killing these things. Because I have no freaking idea what the hell am I shooting 90% of all, all the time. But they certainly do blow up nicely. I have to give them that. Okay. Okay. Definitely need the armor, and that's a secret? Seriously? Okay, that's a little disappointing. 
I'm still looking for those hidden doors and stuff like that. Not for breaking armor, which is set off a little bit off way. Holy fudge. You see? This. This is a secret. I can get behind this. A uh, bestiary scroll. Sure. Let's go nuts. I think this is the second one which we have uncovered just on this mission. Which is great because on the previous one I did not uncover a single one of them, which kind of pissed me off to be perfectly honest with you still cannot get behind all this weird jumping and platforming in these types of games it really bothered the living hell out of me in doom eternal i know i never like did a review or playthrough of that game i did pick it up secret has been found I'm not really sure where that secret is This is the secret that I can suddenly return here, okay. Well, that can be nice because theoretically that gives you the opportunity in case you would have missed something to return back to that initial stage where you picked up that uh, staff. That's a lot of you guys. But I don't think you have mastered the art of dodging shotgun shells. Or the rail gun. A lot of these dudes. But thankfully, the grenade launcher still does its trick. How many of them are there? Yeah, I got the big guy. I think it's more important for me to take out the big guy rather than the small guys using the highly expensive ammo that's not so easy to come across. Let's reload. Haven't been to this section, so what's waiting for us here? Any sort of secret door? Just armor? Seriously? Nothing? You would assume that if they give you some sort of weird spot such as this, there would be something. I mean, it's all purplish and has this sort of tone of color. I'm gonna try to hug the wall. But, yeah. Problem is, um, I don't think I would be able to replicate some of these things which I was able to uncover so far because... Yeah, let's face it, I mean, I played the first game like crazy because I was stuck with a laptop. The problem once you start to upgrade your hardware is the fact that stuff starts to lose its uh, value to you. You can be stuck playing one game over and over again because you cannot really go with a better hardware after certain titles. Like for example, I wasn't able to pick up Doom Eternal and other games when they came out. It took me a while to acquire them. And I mean, that's not wrong. It definitely makes you value those titles a little bit more, especially if the games are awesome. But uh, I don't know, I, I just have this really special place in my heart for Project Warlock and what it did for me because it was a really weird time when after a longer time when i finally had a decent computer for a while i was again stuck with only using the bare essentials and don't get me wrong i'm still thankful to my laptop i mean it's what started me on this whole thing and the uh, the channel and we have grown quite a lot i mean 300 almost 10 subscribers I, I i am not aiming for 10,000, 10 million or anything weird like that Hell, I appreciate every single one of you. You don't even know what does this thing mean to me. To even have this thing and to have people who are willing to tune in, listen, and just have some sort of fun. It really means the world to me. So, whoever will be one day watching this, just let me know through the comment section. I will be more than happy for the feedback because right now, I get it. Lots of people don't want to chat in the comment section and stuff like that. It can be weird, but yeah. Let's fucking go for this because I know it's gonna be weird and wicked. It could have 
not directly with the dual wield, but honestly, because there weren't no large targets, did not really see the added value in doing it, because it would be just a waste. And then there's the long ass cooldown for it. Crap ton of armor. But I'm kind of stuck here. One and a two and a. You gotta love this fucking weapon. Come on, I, I'll just rail gun a couple of dudes in the head. One round, maybe it's 10 bullets. I mean, the effectiveness of this thing is just ridiculous. It's gonna be super difficult for someone to say that, hey, you know what, that heavy cannon, that thing is fucking awesome. I, I just don't think I'll be able to accept it. This thing is performing amazingly well. I think I saw more enemies over there. I don't know, I'm just shooting shit. What the hell was that? Okay, apparently you can't withstand the magic. Love this gun. Love this fucking gun. The real gun is epic. Okay, there has to be some way to trigger this fucker. There we go. So what is it that we want to upgrade this time? Uh, executioner allows you to execute the monster kills instantly if monster is frozen or its health is below 50%. Rifle, no, super shotgun, uh, multi-shot staff, lightning staff, the staff is enhanced with thunder, increases damage to the staff, now cost unpredictable deadly thunderbolts, fire staff, the staff is enchanted with fire, changes damage type from magic to fire, works better on monsters with low fire resistance. Um, I'm gonna probably go with the claymore. I'm gonna have to test this thing out Seriously, you're letting me upgrade a weapon and you don't throw a bunch of shit in my way to kill You guys are slacking off Okay, is this the initial starting zone? It yeah Hell yeah, that's where the first bestiary was So I'll go with yes there's a yellow key, and you know she, uh, she's gonna hit the fan once we pick this sucker up. Oh. Okay, I'm out of ammo, which sucks. I'm trying to hit these fuckers with the grenade launcher, which is a task of... Not likely to succeed. Does that fucker have a railgun of his own? What the hell did he hit me with? Hit me with your best shot. He said hit me with your best shot, bitch. That that was a little bit underwhelming. I, I mean, I was expecting a little more uh, words that will come bite me in the ass a few moments later. I'm quite sure of it. You should never ask for more punishment. Okay, where the hell are you going? So obviously this is giving me the vibe like I haven't been here before, even though I have literally picked up the goddamn staff here. Where the hell did you come from, princess? Seriously, where the hell do you guys keep coming from? There's a crap ton of armor, but we have 96 of it. Uh, let's go. That fucker has a freaking rail gun. Somehow. Okay, the grenade launcher literally cleared out the whole sequence for me. 
so I'm super thankful for it. What the fuck was that? Oh, just the bits and pieces, I guess. Yeah, I don't have the grenades. Not really sure what happened there to the enemy grenade, though. Okay, Shotgun was able to execute that poor fellow on quite the floor, long distance. You guys are kind of annoying, I gotta admit. Come on, you freaking predator. Oh, don't even get me started on that new predator freaking trailer. That, that thing is gonna be such a... Ugh. Ugh. Like if the Predator IP hasn't been mishandled already. Enough. Surrender. Never surrender! It looks like these grenades are really not made to deal with this dude. But this one real gun is just perfect for it. You, you know, you should have like slashed where the hell did you come from buddy okay so we have two ways to go one hand that makes me happy on one hand that makes me upset because i know i have choices to make Just wait for those rockets to pass me. Can we? I don't really know how the hell to aim this grenade. Still. Holy fudge, that's a lot of you guys down there. Fudge! Something pushed me off. Not cool. No idea what the hell happened there. don't appreciate that because most of my health and everything got completely boned thanks to whatever the hell this was okay has to give himself the shooting angle Fucking hell no! I kind of killed myself here. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. When was the last fucking time I saved? I'm sorry for cursing so much. It's been a long freaking week. Okay, so we have to replay. A lot of this. Depending on how far away you are from the succubus, you need to use that much amount of stuff. I don't feel like the grenades are doing it. Dude, that's so rude. A lot of ammo on multiple weapons. Really not good really need to replenish this ammo and health and armor and all the other nonsense no idea where I am at but if you guys are just gonna keep on slowly dragging your fat asses towards me then bring it on I guess I just found another goddamn secret I think, or at least the possibility for me to upgrade stuff. I don't know if I want to go literally with the... I think I'm going to go with the lightning. But for now, we're going to go with the multi-shot. 
not gonna use it on these guys. Okay, maybe I will use it on these guys. That kind of worked. Surrender! Okay, so I think we're just approaching the same thing from like a slightly different angle. Be careful about those damn rockets. I literally have zero ammunition to throw around. And that's kind of a bad thing. I don't know if that real gun did manage to land that shot. Yep. Nice headshots. Really nice. Those big chunks of their bodies are literally obstructing me from climbing back up. But I'm really glad that we did not fall in through there and we were able to pick up some of these things. I just know that if I go and pick up that blue key, that's gonna be a hell of a problem. With my current status, my current health bar, my current everything, I don't like these odds, and you just know there's gonna be a crap ton of stuff that's gonna spawn in. So if I can grab the armor, or any additional health which might be hiding around, I'll have to do it now. Or I don't like my odds. At all. We're gonna have to probably dual wield the sucker. Okay, so that thing is moving. That thing spawned in. But I, I... What the fuck is that? Yeah, this range of the shotgun ain't gonna do shit. But he's just gonna keep moving towards me, I guess. And then bring your fat ass over. Okay, we need to figure out... exactly it is that I need to go here in order to use that elevator. I need to be careful and aware of what might be popping in in here. Because right now I'm really not that well equipped to handle. I thought I killed you. Okay, we have to wait for that freaking platform to get underneath us. I, I heard fire. That succubus over there. I really would like to pick up that health potion, but I mean, screw it at, at this point. Okay. He killed himself? He can do that? Then why the hell do I have to keep shooting if they're willing to kill themselves? But the actual fun. Oh shit. That was at least nice that they lined up themselves so beautifully. Fuck. Seriously? Please tell me I at least saved up. Aw, oh, man. Shit. I fell. Okay. Let's try again. I think I was in front of the blue doors. I'm not sure. Maybe I was just turned the wrong way. Yeah. Being the idiot that I am. How are you still alive? Don't. Come on. Okay, these are just my stupid mistakes. You can obviously learn from them, but the problem is I make so many of them. It's hard to determine which ones you're supposed to learn from, huh? Okay. Don't we screw that? Try 
try to not stand in the explosive radius. Nice. Probably would appreciate a little bit more um I, uh, this swear to god looks like some sort of secret but apparently it's not lots of stuff in here which is telling me there's gonna be some something you don't just hand me this much crap and expect me to be a-okay oh <sighs> okay fuck it What the hell is this damn thing? Oh wow, okay. That was beautiful. Although it's not really doing jack shit versus these armored dudes. Okay, so a little mini boss. Cute, 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 cute. The gate has opened. Where? <laughs> yeah, we need a shotgun for these fools. Okay. A little annoying here. Oh, come on, we're back. Worst thing which is gonna happen to you is when you get stuck. Come on, that was a beautiful headshot. It's kind of funny how this railgun leaves this sort of air projectile still showing in the air even moments after you have fired the gun. I really don't want to fall here. Wrong gun. Beautiful. I don't know if these projectiles are gonna fly all the way to the damn succubus. There as hell can try. God damn it. Okay, this is like an instantaneous death, huh? I really don't feel like these two things match. Like, don't give me goddamn bouncing around and then shooting ton of shit. Is it, I don't know. Is it just me or am I weird by not liking this? How much ammo do I have? Quite a lot. Never gonna surrender, bitches. Should know that by now. Okay, four projectiles. Then look at how crammed they are on that freaking island. They're just asking to be shot by this damn thing. Come on, that was really not cool. Is that an enemy or what the hell is this? Okay, I wasn't really sure what the hell am I looking at there. Turns the oldest platforming is so weird. Is that it? Have we cleared it out? Ah, shish kebab. Okay, I think we did! So out of 349, I killed 338. I found seven out of 10 secrets. I found two B-series entries. So pretty damn awesome. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more, check out the playlist. Also check out the portion of the initial Project Warlock, which I was able to cover on the channel with all the secrets. I don't know if I'll ever get to finish it. It took a lot of time. So we'll see, it depends on your feedback. In the meantime, I also have the channel for the movies. I haven't posted that much stuff there, but just letting you know, if you wanna discuss movies, TV shows, etc. 
We're gonna work on that. Other than that, I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you all for watching, and bye-bye for now. Okay, I can get behind half of the secrets, or 7 out of 10, that's actually pretty decent for first time going through this.